Hi and welcome back to the playthrough. Let's just hit this hard mission. The enemies we're gonna be facing are the Flame Ones, the Deathmark, the Destroyer, and the Immortal. <laughs> we're gonna have a lot of fun. Let's launch this mission. We're gonna have all our tech priests taken to this. Uh, level 3 Skitari Ranger. Yeah, I'm just gonna take two of these. They are too good to be left out. Alright, as far as canticles go... Honestly, I really would like to drop the healing for... Uh, for... Where are you? Oh yeah. Max the machine spirit of all weapons. I think that's pretty useful, so... I'm just gonna try it. We'll see. We'll see how we end up. I guess we got a lot of healing on everybody, so... Should be fine. Alright, let's deploy. In timeline research, true equals then research opportunities acquired. Hypothesis. Settlers of St. Eckhart's Hope provided original source of biological materials for flayed ones. A gruesome fate and a warning about the unlearned staying too close to the works of the alien. Settlers remain still present in the tomb of Chao. Likelihood is greater than zero. Hypothesis addendum, Archotech and other supplies still present with remains. Acquiring it would be a task of a few would relish. But if such material is, to, is there to be recovered, it may be worth the risks. Tech Acquisitor Mindset Detected. <laughs> okay. Now <clears throat> well, let's see what we can make happen here. For once I've doubt there will be too much difficulty locating our objective. I do not know what means the Necrons used to preserve the tissue of settlers the flayed ones brought into the tomb, but it worked until now. Hypothesis tomb's location by Skitari scouts participated. Process of decay. Whatever the reason, you'll just have to follow the stench. There is no time to remove the cohort's olfactory capabilities to make the mission less onerous. They shall have to ask the Omnesaya for strength to cope. The Charnel Pit deployment number 20. Woo! We're already at number 20. And we got three fights in here. Hmm. Let's check this cliff out. A single port designed for Necron Canopta creatures extrudes from the device. I'll see this. Minus 3 HP. That's fine. We know now. We know what to do there. Alright, let's see the first fight. Kill all enemies. Simple enough. Uh, what are these? Immortal, immortal. Alright, so... We could uh, put you forward. We're so good at running. Uh, we could put Jeremiah in charge of this matter. Just like so. Uh, Orcanus is up there. South. Out, my friend, you can here. Canarius uh, up to lead the charge as well, and Leonardus. Leonardus is gonna go this way. That seems solid enough. Let's start the battle. 
Oh, and he gains some cognition point right away. I like that guy. I also want you to go like this. Please, thank you. And that's enough for you. Hmm. Probably. I'll probably just delay your turn, honestly. Alright, he's dead. Hmm. Out. For one round, they're gonna be dealt five less damage. Cooldown is two. Is there any other way of acquiring commission points in here? Unfortunately, not. Mm. Mm -hmm. oh, we can definitely do this. And it's a critical, which is pretty nice. Yeah, I actually want to try that out. Oh, okay, so it's a stationary thing, isn't it? Oh, well, let's see if you move away one time. Alright, I see, I see now. I guess we're just gonna have to move you forward then. Mm. Yeah, let's let's bless everyone. Hope it's gonna be a short fight, so that should be plenty of uh, plenty of defense to go around with. Let's reveal his stats, for example. Okay, that's a lot of. That's a lot of stats. Mm. Well, we can do the overzealous thing and get nine cognition points. Nice. So. We can use this now and take a shot at this guy. Critical, nice. Okay, and uh, that's it for your turn. And we can move you forward here. I will take a good shot at them. Medical mission as well. And uh, heal yourself and then shield up, probably. on that one though. Well, it's better than nothing, I guess. And also shoot that guy and see what he's made of. Same thing, okay. I don't think we need to use that. We're gonna heal him next turn anyways. Damage is absorbed. And takes only two. Okay, well that's pretty cool. <clears throat> Hopefully we're gonna be 
I'm able to take a pretty good punch at him. Four to six. Four only. Wow. That's still okay. Hmm. Leonardus, you my friend. Friend can come here and uh, shoot that guy down. And have an extra energy. Well then the problem becomes is Jeremiah's turn. So we can use this. Hopefully, finish this. Oh no, we cannot do that. Mm -hmm. Can you? Oh well, you can move, but it doesn't. If we shoot this guy here, we do three to four damage to him. Yeah, let's see. A bit of friend fire is unfortunate. But hey, what can we do? What can we do? Alright, that's it for you. Necrons are awoken. Get one permission from that. We destroy this guy. And move up here. Get those two permission points. Oh yeah, just just chill I guess. Is there anybody we can heal? Not really. Okay. Well now... Now is the time for you to shine. We can heal up this guy here. Who is uh... Who is this? Let's try this. 17. It's basically full health. Well, okay then. Oh, we can still move you over here and heal him. And hopefully have some uh, CP left as well. Nice. Alright, that was a pretty easy fight to start with. We got 4 CP out of it. Which is always nice. Oh, that looks... That looks pretty bad. One of the dead settlers has been transformed into a hideous trophy of skin and regarded body parts. Displayed in the center of this chamber like sign, signpost or monument. It is impossible to guess what deceased flayed once hoped to achieve by creating such a thing. 54 Blackstone are detonated, blow up the dismay, investigate, search the dismay for clues of, to its purpose, emulate, burn the display. Hell yeah, we're gonna burn the shit down. Fire solves every problem when applied in sufficient quantities. The trophy is repeatedly turned into gathering torch, shivering flesh, and shortly afterwards become nothing but ashes. The cohort can be certain that they have done the righteous thing. Awakening these guys by two. Yeah. Alright, it's pretty straightforward from here. The bizarrely neat and ordered display of human skulls is arranged on shelving in the chamber ahead. Skulls are placed around the wall-mounted sarcophagus from which the slumbering Necron has already departed. Examine the sarcophagus. Some total. Uh, Rilai picked grabs of the scene to the Castus Metallica and to cross-reference against any similar findings. Hmm. Examine the skulls. Um, 
that looks pretty old. Like, why would I examine the skulls themselves? I don't know. Honestly, we should go do all of these. Yeah, let's just take a few pictures, why not? Extra Necrons in battle. The socio anthropological databanks of the Castus Manicus log similarities to high status burial sites in the pre imperial human societies, the ambiguity about w whether the skulls were arranged by Necrons or captive humans creates unpleasant possibilities in the minds of the cohort. Should have just examined the schools, that would have been uh, yielding us something good, probably. But oh well. Kill all enemies. And there are quite a few of them. What do we get? We get an immortal, we get a Praetorian, a data, two databanks actually. Another immortal. Well, okay. Uh, our front runner should go to the front and run. Leonardus. Leonardus should come here. Menorius, you should go there. Um, uh, Jeremiah, who's gonna be the first to act? Could occupy this spot and then... We could just deploy two Skitari Rangers and have him generate one point for us, right? Right, okay. Let's start the battle. By chopping this dead eye up. Space shift in somewhere right there. And we stand by. Get the extra cognition points. We're gonna get all these cognition points as well, because we're so sneaky. That's fine, and... Uh, now we can start shooting at that guy. Also, we'll take a shot at him too. walk up to him and bash him in the face. Nice. But that's hopefully gonna settle him. Now... Actually... Actually, I'm just gonna move him out here. Uh, half his cost reduced. Yes. It's only gonna take one. Uh, ooh, that's a pretty good... That's a pretty good shot. I'm not even gonna count it. This is, uh, this is like a perfect shot. Their movement is being reduced, so let's see what you got. Damn. Okay, um... Well, in that case, I would suggest... I would suggest you to move here. So it doesn't have an easy shot on you. Alright, and uh, just stay back. Uh, 
Oh, that's okay. Can take that. Just bless the whole group with a bit more shields, I guess. And uh, we hit you, definitely. Thankfully, it was a good food, seems like. And uh, give you one more. Physical. Oh, you cannot cast it on yourself. Oh, we can, can cast it on him. And uh, stand by, I would say. Yeah. <clears throat> wow. He did like 7 damage there. Uh, okay, so let's see what's... Uh, what's his business is. Find a bit more of his stats. Nice. His business is being dead. Now. Could possibly fry these two. He will fry those two. And then. He can just heal himself and be good with that. Honestly, uh, what is it? The immortal, this one. Oh, okay. It's not gonna be too much trouble then. I'll move him over here. Uh, I wanna get down with the scanning and destroying these things quick quickly as quickly as possible. Alright, so you chill. He hopefully dies. Not quite though, not quite. The six energy shields, good luck with that. Uh, we can... We can send him over here and smack him. Just like so. Oh, how much physical shield does this guy have? Wow, that is... That is tough. Blade 1 is trying to deal damage to us, but is unsuccessful. Okay. Now we rush here and destroy this. Pretty important to keep this in mind. Hopefully, we can get the Necron Awakening back to one. And his turn is over. Wow! Poor guy just took a ton of damage there. another one these guys do so much damage you gotta love it I love it or hate okay move back there finish your turn I hopefully can finish him 
Wow, seriously? How much HP does he have? Well done. We gotta do what we gotta do. And you wait. Oh, Leonardus. Dear Leonardus, my friend. Yeah, he's good there. Go over here and scan this. Hopefully destroy it as well. Oh yeah, I'm trying to destroy it. Nice. Now we can at least not gonna get three. Awakening, I love that. I want to shoot him. No. I don't need to do that. Just see you and chill. Maybe the Praetorian's turn. I oh, was not gonna do too much. We can just destroy his corpse. And uh, move you up here to bash him. Yeah, I like that. Hopefully, it's gonna be enough to finish him. Like, I would be surprised if, I, if it wasn't. He had, like, probably a ton of food from there. Yeah, and uh, there's not really much else for you to do now. That guy is dead. Takes 18 damage and... Uh, Do I want to spend... no, I just wanna... Might actually just delay your turn. I'm gonna save as many points as possible. And that should be it. Nice. Alright, the second fight wasn't too terrible either. At least we survived, so... A number of desiccated corpses lie in the corner of the chamber. They must be from among the settlers captured by the flayed ones and brought into the tomb long ago. Sanctify, perform funeral rites for the dead. Sanitize, burn the dead so they cannot pose health threats to other units in the tomb. Scavenge, load, loot the dead for any materials or archaeotech. Mm. Yeah, let's go for scavenge. Woo! All right, that's worth. While rumming through this sad pile of decaying limbs, the cohort is caught in a burst of noxious spores that have been prolif proliferating the corpses in arts. They come away with a few examples of useful technology and augmentics from the dead settlers, but are much, uh, much the worse for it. Okay, I like that. And we finish this quest here. Might even be able to reuse this awakening to one, that would be huge. Kill all enemies, oh, destroyer, interesting. So there are two 
two scannable items. Scannable items. Uh, the destroyer is gonna act first. Then it's gonna be Jeremiah. I definitely wanna move him forward. It's like over here. Then uh, Leonardus. Leonardus, I think. I think you should come here. Then a flayed one, which doesn't matter too much. Then Thalt's turn gonna rise. He should come here. And then uh, Menarius is gonna be the next one. He can come over here. Oh, it's still Jeremiah. Holy moly. Okay. So Menarius comes here. Thalnadrus comes here. Oh, curious. He's. He's pretty good there, actually. He can rush anywhere from that Toth. It's here and. Uh, do I want to deploy anything? I probably do and get the extra. Get the extra point from this. Alright, let's start the battle. You go there, be nice, and stay in the cover. We got the extra point. Okay, now... Mm. Let's come here. Take two good shots at him. And uh Yeah honestly you might as well just bash him too once you're at it. So uh, that's a pretty good start for him. And we lay that. Nice time for Leonardus to do his funny stuff. I probably can't hate here. Just the three to four. So hopefully that wouldn't destroy it, right? Yeah, come over here and take a good shot at those guys. Mm. Three to four. So hopefully it's not gonna kill that or alternative. No, we cannot hit that. But if I hit him. Uh, doesn't work. Okay, let's see. Let's just hope it stays alive. Nice. Now we can do the energy damage as well. Let's see what he's made of. Energy shields. Hooray. Uh, yeah, just, just chill, I guess. Alright, Talth, please. Uh, make all our attacks ignore armor. Thank you. 
Uh, have everybody get two more shields. And then... Move in here. Use your uh, CP reduction. And take a shot at this guy. Yeah, I will do. Alright, and just wait. Now the big man is awake, so we can start pushing for some damage on these guys. Nice. And... And we won't have Jeremiah to that. We will have him run over here though. Alright, that's good enough. What's your deal? Energy again? Yeah, alright. We'll do just fine here. Oh, we don't have the cognition points, oh well. Okay, let's go. He's gonna take a lot of damage, unfortunately. But we can cut this guy down, which is uh, something we like. Good there. Ah, oh, you can you can come over there. Okay. Would that finish him? No, unfortunately not. We're doing okay though. Like the scomp is pretty strong uh, from what we understand at this point. Okay, so you definitely. Rush here and get all the three cognitions. Then you can just rush here, scan and destroy that. Mm, only three though. Yeah. Might not use it on here, but on that guy instead. Nice. And then. And then. Oh, you could run up here as well and taunt them, right? Yeah, you'll do that. Gonna be good. Okay. Just finish your turn now. Wow, 10 damage, jeez. I'm really happy to see this uh, flayed guy enter the battle.
Oh, you can come in here and kill this guy. Good job. Now... Mm. Okay, I can have move over here and uh, finish him. If he's still gonna be alive by the time you get your next attack. Destroy that. Destroy that well. Move over here and smack him out of existence. Or maybe move over there and kill him. Yeah, kill him. And he's dead. Nice. We can collect all this. And move back to this guy. And uh, chill. Leonardus. Uh, it's the only fade one we have left. I'm just gonna delay this turn. Uh, and send him over here. Just to make sure. And uh, end this turn. Nice, okay. So we can take care of this one as well. And hopefully we can finish we can finish this turn and get away with all the all the stones. Because there is only one flayed one left, right? Yeah, you just... You just wait. Come over here and bash this guy twice. That's hopefully gonna kill him. Good. Oh, and all we need to know, deal with now is just this guy. So, yeah. Hopefully that is manageable. Nice crit, no? Okay, well. Oh, you can just run over there and smack him, right? Yeah, go ahead and do that. Just run through the whole map as you usually do. Annihilated. Deleted from the game. It's not just killed. And we finished this quest as well. <laughs> Mission complete. The cohort finally reaches the main rep repository of the remains of the dead settlers. Stripped of skin and flesh, the heap of bones and desiccated tissue contains several examples of valuable augmentations and a few items of Arcotag. The cohort returns to the tomb entrance with their scalvished howl. Acquisition, enumeration, commercing. Arcotech and augmented resources is get greater than mission losses. Conclusion positive. I permit myself some solace that something of value has been retrieved from the tomb of Ubchao. What we acquire will do much good in the co continuation of our mission. Addendum personnel, my own augmentations failing, ocular bionic selected, replacement imminent.
Okay, dokey. Let's see the numbers. I wanna see the numbers. How much did we gather at the end? Nice axe. Nice axe indeed. Alright, pretty good. And the new canticle unlocked. Chant of the Remorseless Fist. Next attack will break 6 physical armor. <laughs> new canticle unlocked. Trout Plasm. The next attack will break 6 energy armor. Nice. Alright, see you guys in the next one.